What is happening, my little peppers? It is Friday evening and we have travelled west to the capital of Cumbria itself, Carlisle City Centre, as tomorrow we take on The Wall. A 70 mile adventure through Hadrian's Wall country, starting at Carlisle Castle and finishing at the Gateshead Millennium Bridge. The skies are blue and the sun is shining, however tomorrow's forecast is not quite as bright. Registration is evidently up here at the Crown and Mitre Hotel, so let's go check it out. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm alright, where do I go? Just go yes, you can. This is like a military operation, this is the real deal. There's a shop, help desk, tracker, tracker, kitchen, look at all this. This is a well-oiled machine, they've done this before I think, what do you reckon? How are you doing? How's it going? Good, thank you. Good to see you. Don't you show my disclaimer, yeah? Cool. Right, so I just need to check a couple of things, cool. if that's okay. Yeah, top. Yeah, top. perfect. And is that your first aid kit first there? Your first aid kit there. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, let me squeeze it. Top marks, right? Top marks? Okay. A star. There you go. Nice, top. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Keep trying until it's right. Awesome. You go to the Guardian, right. he'll take oh, you over to race 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 Thank you. Race. Sweet, yeah. thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Catch you bright and breezy. Looking forward to it. Get a good night's nice sleep, everyone. All right, so that is registration complete. And my goodness, what a well oiled machine that was. Everything starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So all that's left to do is watch Scotland trounce Germany in the opening game of the Euros and then hopefully get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Michelle, good luck. Are you going first wave? Are you this wave? Good luck. Good luck, mate. Are you ready? And just another bit of advice about the wee mark thing. Are you ready? Woo! All right, what is happening, my little peppers? It is Saturday morning. I am hiding under this magnificent tree because the heavens have opened and the weather is not as nice as it was yesterday. The forecast says it's changeable and mixed, but I think ultimately it's a jacket on kind of day. Events start in three waves today. There's 1,500 runners doing this race. 1,500. That is the biggest ultra I know of to be fair and the first wave of the blue guys who go at 20 to 7. We're in the green wave, the middle for diddles at 10 to 7 with the orange wave I think it is last at 7am. Right the blue guys are just about to go so let's go cheer them on for their first footsteps in this 70 mile epic adventure from Carlisle Castle. And I will, to the I Gateshead I Millennium Bridge. Get in, guys. Each one of you a warrior. You've got this. Three, two, one. All right, so that is blue wave off. The boys in green are entering the pen. Cameron, how are you feeling? I feel like we're going to throw up. <laughs> but I'll be all right. With excitement or with fear? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Probably both. Big shout out to your mum and dad, Susan and Michael, for the lift over. They saved my bacon this morning when I didn't have accommodation last night. Let's go and see our brothers in arms in the green wave. Woo! How you doing? Good, Green good, waves, where is that? And in the branded merch as well, I like it. How are you feeling? <laughs> Dunno. <laughs> Truly weird thing to think, like I've been looking forward to it for so long, yeah. but now that it's here, I'm just... We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, we'll I see like, what happens. I like the honesty. Oh. Hello, son. How are you doing? How are you, you doing? You alright? How are you doing? You alright? Ready? Well, I, I think I over-egged it on the sun cream this morning, but... I... <laughs> good luck. Oh, oh I'm like that. I'm catching a bit. Oh, how are you doing? Good to see you. How are you doing? All right. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Yes, good luck. 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 Yay! Rat raise the wall 2025. Go, go, go! We've got to hit this on the way, right? Rat race is a total embarking on this epic ultra marathon. Thanks everyone, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at how emotional she was. Obviously supporting someone really close to her heart, that is awesome, isn't it? 
Oh man, look at the emotions, even from the spectators, the support. <laughs> oh, that is class. All right, so the greatest adventures start with the smallest step. With that in mind, we have just completed mile one of 70 on today's event. <sighs> when you put it like that and break it down into 70 tapas style portions, that's not bad really, is it? Not bad at all. Oh, how's everyone feeling? Hey. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'll ask you again in about 20 hours time. <laughs> well, some of that tapas. Yeah. Check that out. Newcastle, 55 miles. And that's the road. Our journey is even longer. Oh. I'll tell you what, we're nearly an hour in and I am digging these front pockets so far. I've already had a gel, which is good news. And I've got my body glide on hand because I'm already starting to chafe, unfortunately. Thighs and neck. But these front pockets mean everything is accessible and I can get it on the move. One thing that I have got right at today's event is checkpoints, which is in part, and I mean this sincerely, this wonderful Advanced Skin 12 Ultra Pack from Salomon and up and running. It's just worked and it's given me a real psychological boost. So woo, thank you guys. In this case, all the gear, and it would seem some of the idea. Oh, how you feeling, mate? <laughs> uh, so far, so good. <laughs> so we need it here. Russ has just asked if I had walking poles and then did the international sign language for walking poles? <laughs> or milking a cow. <laughs> He's either asking me if I have walking poles or if I work in a dairy. <laughs> Neither is the answer. Thanks, Marshall. We're talking tips here for ultra running, in particular gear. And Cameron, what's the deal with how to keep your kind of bladder and your bottles mould free? Stick them in the freezer. Wash them first and stick them in the freezer. <laughs> I was saying that with my old ultra pack, I don't think I've washed the bladder once in about eight years. <laughs> and it was starting to taste and smell more like a terrarium <laughs> than a bottle. So there you go. Stick them in the freezer. We think we've got out too quick. Oh, we're still going too quick. Russ is kind of flight director, team leader. He's dragging us along far too quick. <laughs> oh, we've got such a long way to go, but when you feel good, you want to maximize your pace, even though the day is long and the journey even longer. Oh, you've got to think smart. <laughs> but I'm not thinking smart. I'm having a good time. Either we're going to do very, very well today, or we're going to bottom out thoroughly and wholeheartedly <laughs> at the halfway point. We shall see. All oh, will be revealed soon. Or 20 hours. Soon. <laughs> yeah. Soon. yeah. <laughs> or in 60, 20 hours. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Pooch. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. Morning. Top woofing. Top woofing. Well done, everyone. How you all feeling? Great. <laughs> I'll take one and a half out of four. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I'll tell you what. These ultra runners are going to be a cheerful bunch. <laughs> well done guys. 12k in and we've descended into what's your favourite film? Did anyone actually pick the favourite film? Interstellar. Any Bond film. Any Bond film. Any Goonies, Bond film, Goonies Interstellar. I went True Romance. Top it's a really gun. good film. Top Gun. Yes. Go on, tell us. I'm a great showman type of guy like. The greatest showman? Absolutely <laughs> wild choice. <laughs> Best film ever. Hey, what's your name mate? Davey. Davey. Unless you can do a little number from it. A little number? Like do a little song for us. No, I <laughs> You're thinking though, he was, he was thinking for a moment there he was going to sing. <laughs> Catching a bit, well done mate. How are you doing guys? I'm alright, thank you, I appreciate you being here. <sighs> alright, 10 miles in, we've just passed through checkpoint one, which is a mini checkpoint. I think the alternate between smaller ones, still with water and sweets, and then the big daddies. Right, here's the lads, so let's keep going. Oh. 10 mile in and loving it so far. Cut. Cut. Just saw my first sign for the Hadrian's Wall path. Are we calling that officially the start of Hadrian's Wall country? We're quite high up here, look. The smell screams ruralness, rurality. <laughs> it looks nice up here. Yeah, this is wall country. This is wall country. Nice. 
two miles to the next pit stop. This is a lovely section of gradual downhill on the grass. Easy on the knees, easy on the eyes, because it's gorgeous scenery wise. Look at this. And that's just Gareth. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. How are you doing? Still here. <laughs> Aren't we just so far? So very good. <laughs> well, mate, hopefully continue. We're on the wall and there will be a wall at some point. Many walls perhaps. But for now, we shall make here whilst the sun shines. And it almost is. It's better than it was at least. Jacket's coming off soon. One mile to the checkpoint. Russ has just asked, do we stop our watches in the checkpoint? Come on. Is this your first rodeo? <laughs> of course you don't stop your watch. Checkpoint times are all part of the adventure. Some people fly through, others stop for a Sunday dinner plus dessert. Our plan is to be pretty quick, isn't it? We don't want to stiffen up by spending too long standing still and getting cold. Oh, not long now. Must miles. be just around the corner. 15 mile. 15 mile just nice, you. nice. Mate, were you just vaping? <laughs> that is rock and roll, man. That is rock and roll. I just being my bag, dear. <laughs> I keep on telling fucking liquid speed. <laughs> <laughs> liquid speed. Nice. Keep right. going, mate. Keep going. Oh, get you. Oh, look. Lanacost Priory. Thank you, and our first major checkpoint. Welcome to Lanacost, the wall pit stop. All right. He's ruining my food on this car. Cheers, mate. Put it there, man. Cheers, man. Oh, how's everybody doing? Checkpoint one. Ooh, get a whiff of that. <laughs> Woo! Had to clear the sinuses, that's for sure. All right, let's get stocked up. I have never seen a checkpoint like this. It's like Eldon Square. Look at this. Wow. Where's the lads? Here they come. That's the first checkpoint reached. Nice. Well done, mate. Well oh, done, well done, well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Here, well done, mate. Well done. Checkpoint one. Got me chance. Oh, you're doing all right? I commented on your video, sir. I hope you smash the wall and get me fist pump off you. Oh, nice. Uh, well, I feel like we want to do like bring one from Marlborough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your name, mate? Paul. Paul, how are you doing? Good, Are you, are you yeah. finding it? Yeah, not so bad, eh? Yeah. Getting there. You sound conversational. You look good. Well, I feel a bit guilty. I've, I've been running with my wife and I've left her at the, the 10 mile mark. So. <laughs> Absence makes a hard grow fonder. Right, well, good meeting you, mate. Hi, you? I'll catch you again soon. Hello, how are you doing? Mate. You all right? Hi, how are you feeling? Hello, mate. Are you good? Hi, how are we doing? You good? I'm just staying here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Hi, Rich, how you doing? How are you doing? Good to you see you. Right? How's it going? Yeah, hello oh, there. This Hi, is how Pip. You Hi, Pip. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness, <laughs> you are gorgeous. We've just started me yeah, and my dog gorgeous. running club to, oh, to, nice. to celebrate running with our dogs. So oh, she's amazing. jealous of all you guys running today. <laughs> good <as well>. dog. <laughs> hey, do you know what? I reckon I'll get through this next 10k because of you. That's amazing. Aww. That's amazing. Well done. <laughs> A bit about it. Yeah, so Stephen Irons is running seven ultra marathons in seven days in support of MSA Trust because one of our new Burn members uh, recently passed away Sorry from that. MSA. So he's been running um, seven ultras up, <laughs> up until this. Well, well that is hour, absolutely man. a brilliant cause and an awesome effort. Stephen Irons, absolutely awesome. Well done, <laughs> mate. Well done. Cheers, yeah. guys. Oh, wait there, wait there. The weather is fair. Let's get the cup on backwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work as well as planned. That checkpoint was awesome. <laughs> Look at this, by the way. 15 miles down, a breezy, easy, cheesy, 55 miles left to go. Yeah, that checkpoint <laughs> was an absolute blast. Food was great, services and the masters were great, the spectators were awesome. I met a beautiful collie dog called Pip. What more can you ask for? How are we all feeling, Gareth? Grand. <laughs> nice. Russ, I've got Full. the camera held funny so I can't spin it. Full. <laughs> right, I'm gonna eat this pan of chocolate and this lovely cookie and then we shall get cracking. Nice. Did you pay for Russ's entry? Bear in mind, Ollie's been doing his carrying your gear for you since we started. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm carrying my water. <laughs> he just said, water boy. <laughs> here, here boy, hold my stuff. <laughs> Look at that sign, just says banks. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely spot on because this is the biggest hill we've had yet. Oh. Still not too bad. We can still stride at a decent speed. 
feared the brothers arguing behind me. But this is most definitely the biggest climb we've had thus far. Oh, 16 miles done. Woo! <laughs> You'll notice that I'm walking the wrong way, but it's because I've got to get this on camera right. There's a cow fast asleep over the wall here, but if you look when it's laid down, <laughs> that hoof isn't touching the grass. <laughs> it looks more like a plastic cow rather than a real cow. <laughs> Top Trump's flexibility score, one out of 10. Ah, oh, but he is alive, or she is alive. I did check for breathing. So, just crashed out, obviously. A very big Friday night. <laughs> sleep it off, girl, sleep it off. Oh, now we're gonna chase these back up this hill. Ah, that is cool. Tom has just informed us, for anyone who frequently visits the A69, <laughs> that over there, is Low Row where the 260 speed cameras are and that little chicane and petrol station there with a windmill. So that is a kind of our first reference point as to where we are. We're heading east back towards home and we've now reached Low Row. I like that. Here. I like that. That's a proper morale boost. I mean I was pretty tipped up anyway but that's cool. Look at that view. I know. I know. I've got the exactly. river down there. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> I was just running past, I thought, oh look, ta-da! There is our first look at Hadrian's Wall itself. That is awesome. And in history buffs, how old is that? 25 years. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Built by Northumberland County Council <laughs> in 1979. Say, that's why it's in bits. <laughs> Whoa. Seriously, that is pretty cool. <laughs> and it's the guys from Newburn again. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. We have been climbing solidly since Lanacost Priory. It must be a good few miles, but it is still pretty good going. I'm getting a bit of a pull in the back of my leg and my kind of right foot's a tiny bit sore. But we're 30, <laughs> get rid of those doubts, Russ is saying. But we're 30K in and so far, we're doing all right here. Oh, I'll be over the moon if I can keep my rattle, keep physically strong, keep fed. I'm doing well with my gels. I think we're doing everything right that we can be. Oh, we just gotta keep doing it for another 80K. <laughs> I don't say it out loud. If you say it out loud, it comes true. Ah! How you doing? Good. So you've come from New Jersey, New Jersey. all the way to Northumberland yep. to do Hadrian's Wall. From Princeton, yes. Oh, from Princeton, wow. Yeah. How are you finding it? It's nice, lovely. It's very wet here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Blighty. What's your name? Peter. Peter Amal. Um, Pleased to meet you, mate. And you're Gareth. Gareth. And that's Russ. Russ. Look forward to sharing a few miles with you, mate. Well done. Look how magnificent that is. Look at that. Those trademark straight lines. Stonework that stood the test of time. It's been here for century upon century. Incredible, eh? I mean, it's not going to keep the Scottish out at that height. <laughs> they can't roll a blade over it though. Oh, photographer, quick, everyone protect the run. And then instantly stop everybody. Play the game. Play the game. And then back to a walk. <laughs> I was chatting away there and I saw that photographer. You know the drill. Run past the photographer, belly in, blue steel, high knees. Usually I'm just like flat, like two feet planted, camera in my hand, like I'm holding a big lollipop. <laughs> that could be a good one though. Hello mate, how are you doing? Do, man, man. That's hopefully a good one. How are you feeling? Hanging in there, champ, you? Yeah, yeah, just the same. Well done, mate, well done. Hi guys, thank you. Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Was it a strict interview process to get the job yeah, yeah. of Gareth's Waterboy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Obviously an old fort or watchtower or something, isn't it? Look at that. Spectacular. Ooh. Bit of a tester on the knees, this one. I think I might be committed. I'm committed to the downhill now. I can't slow down. It's easier <laughs> just kind of hanging on now. Yeah. The bridge at Willowford. Nice. Oh. Wow. Oh, lovely breeze. The kind of meadows over here. A gorgeous river. Great company. Ah, oh, how magical. How very magical. Whatever you do, do not rub that in your eyes. <laughs> You'll be seeing visions of the future. Another photographer at the top of these stairs. We're going to have to give it a jog. We've got to make it look good for the photographer. 
Yeah. Not yet, he hasn't seen us yet. Right, here we go. Let's brace ourselves. He's just up here, crouched at the top of these stairs. Look at you guys, I ran that whole hill. <laughs> hey, yes! Welcome to Northumberland, England's border country. Get in. Well done guys, what a squad. How cool is this? Awesome. Well, that's a pub down the village. Oh yes, awesome. The Montier School, Roman Wall, Railway Lane. Absolutely beautiful, and there's a kind of what, like little honesty book swap shop. No, no, it's just it's just outdoor library for the class, for the community. That's awesome, not me. What's your name, by the way? Peter. Peter, please meet you, mate. I'm Al. One of the bits of advice I got when doing Scarfell Sky Race was to eat some proper food. Yeah, you can do chocolate bars and energy stuff and electrolytes, but there's nothing beat a proper savoury meal. In this case, I've got wraps with corned beef and pickle made by my fair maiden, Lorna, for the journey. So I'm gonna tuck into these because it sounds like we've got a K or two of gradual climb. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. How are you doing? Yes, definitely. Yeah. How are you doing? Like the oh yes. How are you doing, you up there? How are you doing? You good? You good? To my catch you a bit, guys. See y'all later. Bye. Well done, guys. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Stay strong. Stay safe. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Cheers. How did you know I was called Mark? All right. We had the boost of the crowds there. What village were we in there? This is Greenhead. Greenhead. Big up the guys in Greenhead, you're awesome. But we're now faced with this beast. This is gonna be a tester. Our biggest yet on today's adventure. Oh, how are you doing? You all right? How's it going? Yeah. Oh, good to see how you. How are you doing? I'm all right, are you? Excellent, yeah. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> I love this mask, look at that. Daddy! It's the fact that he's got one black eye and one white eye because oh, it's over a black fish. Hold on a minute, <laughs> see the fun that we've had with him this morning. Oh, put them on, put them on. Last job. <laughs> oh my goodness, well, well that is uh, something to behold. Good seeing you. Where's the checkpoint? Ah, here it is. How are you doing, you all right? Yeah, really good, thank you. Hello mate, how are you doing? You good? Stop here. <laughs> <laughs> here yeah. Is there some buffet you got here? Champion good to see you. Really good. Any volivants? No. Oh. Whoa. The volivants just haven't caught on. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome. Enjoy. I appreciate that. Do you know what I've just thought? I'm having a rice crispy cake and a chocolate one at that. Absolutely massive. Look at the size of these. Oh, can I just grab one of them? Oh, these look amazing. We'll get this nibbled and then we head out and into that quarry. There, look at that. This is an awesome location for a checkpoint. It's cool, it's got a festival feel. How y'all feeling? Oh, look, oh, hang on. All right, we're bouncing out of checkpoint two, which I think might even top checkpoint one. The location is spectacular, the crack just as good, and the food, lovely jubbly indeed. Pork pie, chocolate rice crispy cake, which I cannot say, chocolate rice crispy cake. <laughs> we'll get it second time. Might need to walk for a little while to digest, but basically, we go up here, and then round where you can see them running there under that little rocky outcrop. All oh, right, okay. There's four checkpoints and then the finish. So that's two of the four down. We are ticking off these sections. Spirits are still high. We've got the hard work yet to come and I think it's going to come soon. But today's gone all right. Things are working out nicely today. Things are working out well thus far. 